Link and cashback code in the description. Back today, guys, to the channel for Horizon 4 Top Gear Horizon Special. Uh, we are very close to completing this. I think we have three left, and right, it's been pretty cool. It's been different, it's been interesting, and it's given us the opportunity to unlock some new vehicles along the way. Now, we do have brand new Forza Thon events coming in here for the festival, and Autumn. Chevy Impala man 96 coming back into the game. We haven't had this in the game since I do believe Forza 4 ish. I do believe, don't quote me on that, but Pontiac GTO 1965, beautiful edition. We got the Conan Zeg CCX dropping in. We got the Regera also for 80%. Uh, Corvette ZR2, I do believe that truck is also in the game. Uh, S5 Mustang, MBGT. And then for spring, uh, the Caterham R500 Forza Edition. That is probably the worst. That honestly looks like it was a randomized Caterham with the digi camo print and blue wheels. I have not been a fan of that car since day one. Either way, today though, I wanted to test the game out on sim steering. Obviously, uh, right, sim steering plays a huge role in how the game feels. Normal to sim steering uh, can drastically improve the way that you drive. And I kind of wanted to showcase this here for today. But the biggest thing though, is I wanted to test it with the 6x6. Now I'm gonna be unlocking this in a couple of these missions here. So we're gonna test out the 6x6, do a build on it on sim steering, and really try to throw it. Now, I said we'd be driving some British classics, and you don't get more British than a car built in Birmingham designed by a man from Greece. Anyway, here it is, an original Mini Cooper S, an icon of 60s engineering. It was designed for cities, but this is the wide body one, so we're going to need a bit more room. And I know just the place. Ready, Stick? Right, I'm excited for this one here. Sim Steer, thank you guys so much for watching today, and don't forget, the Mini is this left, I like one. Right there, automatically, the turning response of this is just so dramatic. And I mean, you can really lose it though fast if you really just kind of, you know, started to kind of get out of the motion here or, you know, lose the weight just like that. Minimal movements on the controller, man. Minimal movements will bring it back, but you gotta be careful uh, and you gotta know where your tires are gonna be at all times. But I think though, that's how some of these guys are putting down some really high times because they're using the same steering. If you haven't used it yet, the Cooper S was the I car to beat on the famous Monte Carlo rally. It pretty much wiped the floor with the competition. Right, we are just turning in so fast. And I mean, like I said, as long as you just kind of ride out that power slide, you'll be good. But I wanted to really see it with the 6x6, considering six wheels uh, should be interesting with a nice little build on here. I don't know exactly what we can do to it or can't do to it, but... Who also built F1 cars, so it had real oh, racing oh. pedigree. I feel like, though, we're going to have um, a lot more fun with the 6x6 on the controller than the wheel, I feel like. Going in here, just going to try to dodge. Yeah, I think we're going to... And yeah, here we nope. are. Told you it was spacious. Look at that spot right there. Perfect parking job. Have a quick sip of my coffee. We've got everything we need here. An airfield, mm. the original rapid runabout, and the stick. I'm looking forward to this. My body does look pretty solid, though. I like it. I'm a fan. Mini Cooper. Austin look Cooper. I'm sorry. Leg Beat the skills target. There. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, it has much we can just chuck this in. I'm going to try to actually go around some of these here. This little mini As I hit well above all of them. It's okay. literally unstoppable. Forget rallying. This thing was made yeah, for there, demolition there. derbies. Mind you, I would have loved to have the wheel on this, but the controller, though, with a little bit of all-wheel really drive, easy it's fun, this. man. Definitely try to check it out. Try to use it, at least. I know sim steering is hard, though, and it can definitely be a little intimidating at times, especially with, you know, the snapback and stuff like that. But look at me! Oh, I really wanted to get in there. Oh, 360? Oh my oh, god. 900? Oh! No! <laughs> we should have it now. 8.46,000 currently. Times that by 5. Is that going to give me... <gasps> Jeez, imagine if I would have lost it all. Oh my god, it's I almost did. That would have been brutal. 241k. Is that good enough for 3 stars? 1, 2. Look at that, man. Easy money. Out here, uh, so we have currently only two left, man. Embra afternoon drive. Now, sim steering brings the these cars to life. I feel like it really does. Just everything just feels a lot more nimble, right? I mean, you got that 
sway, but as long as you just keep it under control, right? I mean, you see that right there. I was able to put it into almost a spin out and I was able to pull it back on purpose. Right, so. Oh shit, let's not do this again. I'm gonna do it again, aren't I? No. No. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Oh my god, thank you. I just did this twice, man. I almost screwed it up. Got too busy talking about the sim steering, man. Okay, we arrived 322. Give him my damn three stars. A little coffee to go with that, appreciate it. Okay. Level six, and looks like stig suit unlocked and we should, yeah, there it is, six by six. Next one, we're getting the six by six and maybe the Crown Vic, man. Come on now, Crown Vic, where are you? Come on, oh, 125, okay. MG, six by six unlocked, man, give me. Going back to the fest, oh, there it is, 2014 Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG. I will say the black looks so much better, man. We got those red wheels. You can see those shocks in there also. We got the wood grain in the bed. I like that a lot. Look at this, man. Get this Lego, man. Go back to Lego land. What are you doing here? No, I'm gone. Take care. All right, we're going to see if we can whip around this corner here again. Remember, same steering. Interior looks pretty nice. The problem, though, is that those wheels just want to kick, man. They want to just grip back up. But if we can get enough momentum coming downhill, maybe. maybe oh, look at this, man. Stop showing off, sir. Get out of here. I'm curious about the tire pressure. We can just kind of jack up the tire pressure. We should be able to get this big girl to slide, man. Big Bertha out here. What we can do, of course, cosmetic first. Hopefully something. Bull bars. Ooh, little rally bar. Skid plate there too. I like it, but I don't know if I like it on the G. It's twin turbo V8. Let's see if we can get this up to. You know what? I'm down to run it probably with just the stock engine just to see how we do. 878. We still have quite a bit of weight though. We're pretty much done. I'm going to go for another bite of a fry here. 55, 55 on the rear end. All right, man. We are tucking almost. Look at the rear end. Holy shit. And remember, 55 PSI. Differentials loaded to the rear end. So hopefully, can we get this thing going a little bit? Oh my. I don't think it's happening. We're going to bring this all the way to zero. And let's see if this stops that kind of understeer that we're having. I don't tune for all-wheel drive, so I could be wrong. So, you know, it's better. It's not the greatest. But at least now I can throw it in there, though. Look at that! Oh, oh we can actually run. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? We're, <laughs> we're doing it, man. Drift Adventure. We're going to try it with the 6x6. Six six. A little bit, a little bit. It still wants to straighten up a bit, though. You just got to really toss it in so it can't, right? Or it just straightens up enough where you get the drift points. But, I mean, she slides. It's not it's not the most conventional slide. But remember, though, it's all-wheel drive. And it's a 6x6. Six six. I'm so sorry. We meant to go this way anyways, right? I mean, that was the plan. Yeah, it is, it is a big rig here. Let's try to stiffen up the sway bars here. We're going to stiffen this whole thing up. Maybe... It allows us to actually kind of help it. Now, the G-Wagon's definitely not going to be tossing any tandems down, I don't feel like. But we're definitely be able to get some points, though. We can just kind of huck it in. One, all-wheel drive. Come on. S1, all-wheel drive. S1, all-wheel drive, man. How did it know? It read my mind. A few things came up on Twitter over the week that I thought was pretty funny. One of which uh, was the fact that we had ForzaGuy8844 post up another leak if you will jester then commented one with the train uh saying that that's coming to force horizon for me they're getting out of hand if you guys don't know where they came from right there was a video that got put out by shiny odd made the first leak about the supra now that everyone's seen that video right they're kind of saying well they're going to make their own leaks now people have been making some funny ass leaks on twitter of of course vehicles that are never going to be in the game they had thomas the train engine coming in man right it'd be just wild shit it's pretty funny though and obviously i mean the community is pretty gullible and I'm the only one. Oh, there's a limo! Someone else got the hint? Okay. This is going to be interesting. Uh, I'm going to say uh, clap, clap on that one, man. This, we're going to be wondering what the hell I'm doing. The goal, don't come in last. That's the plan. And it's weird, though, that we're driving the same events, man. This is the same map that we drove, uh, you know, way, way before. We're not changing up the locations, though. Why? I mean, I don't understand why we're doing the same drift events. It's weird. All right, this is where we're going to get some points, hopefully. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, shit, man. 162. Okay, okay. Just using the momentum. 
It looks so dumb, but we're making it work, though. Like I said, that's the thing with Sims Theory, man. You can really see the way that, the, you know, it kind of messes with the game's mechanic. This guy's wondering what's happening. He waited for me just to see me. Oh, my God, that's hilarious. More than 168 on this here. Come on. It may be possible. I need to stay on. Oh, I got it. No, I didn't. 162. Shit. But we're not doing that bad, though, right? I mean, yeah, we are. Okay, let's let's be honest. I am, but I'm not, right? <laughs> Maybe I am. To me, I feel like I'm doing okay. I mean, I got 162 points with the G-Wagon. Give me some credit out here. And I don't know if you guys have tried doing this at all, bringing something just different into these lobbies. But if you have, let me know what you brought. And did you place better than the last place, right? Because it's, it's obviously pretty difficult. A lot of these people are actually trying to get points. It's not like a 4 to 7 lobby. I see that one out, and then we can, yeah, there we go. I love this little Manji coming out here. Worst lap of the entire day. It was pretty wild seeing this thing in cockpit view, though. Oh, shit. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. Just didn't have enough power, though, man. Maybe if I threw in that V8, we could have. And I should have, actually. I could have and I should have. Maybe I'll have to come back here for another vid on the wheel with this truck. And get out the way, sir. I got my truck. This guy said, oops. <laughs> no, man, this one's done actually on purpose. Yeah, this one was my fault. Hit that fat reverse entry. I seen that little 360. Like my Manjis? Look at my Manjis. I'm actually getting some serious points on these. <laughs> God damn it. This has been fun. Let me know your thoughts down below uh, on the uh, 6x6 Mercedes-Benz truck. Did you get it? If you didn't, why not, man? This thing's pretty cool. It's different, and uh, we may have to come back here for a wheel build to see how that V8 does on the truck. But sim steering, though, definitely does help improve your driving. Uh, I highly encourage you to give it a shot if you haven't. We didn't come in last. Look at that. 8th and 9th. They quit, man. They couldn't handle the heat out here, so we're coming home with a seventh place victory, man, right? I'll take that, man. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to slap that like button. Be back here tomorrow with yet another episode, but sim steering though, keep that in the back of your mind, man. Try it out. I'm out. Peace.